Hi guys, welcome back to another base building tips video. Uh, I want to show you uh, quite a bit more base glitching in this video. Uh, I'm going to start by laying these down just so I can show you. If you lay uh, infrastructure slabs down like this, then it's easier to line, line these uh, cuboid room walls up and stuff. Uh, if you don't know how to do a base glitch, you just go on your item reel, you uh, go one left from the actual part you want, come out of the base boundaries, select a signal boost like that, and then just press right on the D-pad and R2 at the exact same time, like this. So as you can see, these, these are usually connected to infrastructure walls, uh, not infrastructure walls, cuboid room walls. But I'm going to put a couple out here like this. There's so much more you can do with this space glitch that I've just been finding out, like, nah, over the last hour. Uh, and while we're in the middle of this video, Swisher told me about something cool that I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video that I just added on. Uh, see, here I'm going to do these ladders. You could add on to them. Uh, as high as you want. <coughs> I'm going to do one of these windows. See, I'm on, on my item view, I'm always one left from the actual piece I want. And then all you do is go out of your boundaries, move over to the signal booster, and then just press right on the D-pad and R2. Uh, ex if you do them at the exact same time, it should work every time. Right, I'm going to show you a couple of cuboid room walls now, outside. See, I can get them all in line because I've put these paving slabs down. Uh, I can line them up a lot easier. Uh, I'll put a door on there now. Just about there. See, perfect. Uh, so, I, I don't know if these... These uh, infrastructure cuboid room walls... Uh, not infrastructure, cuboid room walls... Uh, take up more complexity than infrastructure pieces. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure it's out there on the internet somewhere. What takes up what? But they do, they do look cool to have these outside. It, uh, I'm definitely going to be doing some work with these glitches and seeing how far I can push game mechanics. Uh, the, this what I'm going to show you and it's really cool. Uh, Swisher messaged me saying that it built outside the base limits uh, using this glitch outside base boundaries and I've uh, so I've been messing about with that and you can actually do it. I'll, I'll show you after I've done a few of these. Right, see here I'm using infrastructure parts and usually you can only put one garage door on these to your bases but uh, now I'm going to put this you can delete these paving slabs after so it, it doesn't really matter that they're there uh, let me show you what I'm going to do now I'm going to put one of these room parts doors on it Wait, right at R2 at the same time Oh, didn't quite work there. I must have not pressed them uh, together. Must have been a bit off there. Uh, right, try it again with one of these other doors. Make sure your signal boost is green like that. Or it won't work. See, I've got a door there now. Now I can block that up on either side with uh, infrastructure cubes or find something else to block it up with pipes some just so there's no uh, gap uh, I could bring infrastructure walls in more but it's, it's just cool that you can have doors on, on them now uh, I'm going to show you this uh, what I'm going to do now basically I'm going to put a window there a cuboid room window so uh, what I'm going to do is Put one of these down like this, just so I can build onto that. 
so it's higher so it's higher than the floor level. Uh, delete these. Uh, and I'm going to go over there with me. I want that clear pane window, so I'm going to go over here and do that. Uh, just same as before, right in R2. See how that's gone there now. Uh, I could do it a bit further back, so I'll do one of these circle windows, in fact. Uh, a bit further back this time. Back there. Ah, see? Little gap, could have gone a little bit further back, but you, you get gist to it. That's uh, basically what I've got to do. Uh, so there's so many possibilities now, now you can do this. Uh, So you delete them after and I uh, can just make it a bit cleaner out door. <coughs> I love finding out stuff that you shouldn't really be able to do but I hope they don't take it out in the next update all this base glitching and stuff because I don't know it, it just spoil it. It's good that people can find things to do like this. Oh, let me just get on here so I can straighten this up, right? About, about the air, sir. See, I can do this now just to block these, uh, block this gap up. In fact, I'll delete that one down there in a minute. Just trying to make it look a bit nicer. Uh, delete that, delete that. And I'm going to show you what I mean about this out, out of bounds uh, thing. We've found as well that if you place them out of your bounds, like I'm going to show you, uh, it doesn't take up your build complexity. So realistically, you can build all the way around the outside of your base, infrastructure parts or cuboid rooms, and it wouldn't take up no build complexity at all. The only problem is, uh, it doesn't, they don't interlock the pieces, they won't join together so it makes it hard to build but I'm sure with great builders we've got we can come up with some stuff uh, yeah I'm just showing you these ladders here uh, you could obviously build these outside using glitch if you want to build them IE you have to build infrastructure pieces IE you can't just like uh, connect them onto each other which you can't uh, connect anything onto each other using glitch inside or outside uh, your boundaries <coughs> but I'm uh, gonna work on a base soon probably when we've finished uh, Hollywood project and I'm gonna see how far I can push it and how much I can build on outside at boundaries I've also found that uh, you build, if you build some outside your boundaries uh, like I'm gonna do now and then go and claim another base if you come back everything inside the base boundaries has disappeared but them buildings are still there which is really really cool <laughs> so you can actually have more buildings on on a planet than is meant to be you can have your base and then you can have other buildings at another base as long as they're outside uh, outside boundaries but see with this problem here I can't put a door on that now so you have to have one of the walls inside the base boundary uh, so that you can get inside which is annoying uh, so I don't know how much we are going to be able to do with this glitch 
think like it'd be good for writing signs and stuff in in fact I don't know if you could write signs I'm going to say writing signs in uh, lights but you can only place it where the uh, place stuff where the signal booster will go so I'm, I'm, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do with this but I think it's cool that we could just have a load of buildings placed about and come back and see them and stuff you could also place your uh, specialist terminals outside the boundaries and then I think they should be there when you come back even if you've got another base uh, decorations stuff like that so uh, because I'm building this uh, room outside the boundaries and you can only place stuff where you can put a signal booster I'm gonna have to put uh, a carpet thing down first or whatever it is, one of them red floor things and then build the in the room on top of it so that's uh, showing through the floor and then I can build stuff inside because the signal booster will go in there if you know what I mean <laughs> I know I'm rambling on a bit but uh, it sounds to make sounds like it makes sense to me. Uh, see that, as you can see, I've done that, and the thing will go on there. So I've built the room on top of the. Oh no, that's not going to be high enough. But if I delete this now, and I'm going to have to make uh, the carpet one higher. Well, by using terrain manipulator. So I'll go like this. Ray manipulator on lowest setting. Oh, I haven't even got it installed. It's because I want a new save with this. Uh, right, there we go. Make it square. Right, that'll do. Now just put a carpet on there. Could do it being a bit further back actually. Now I'll glitch carpet onto there. Like this. See there we go. Right now I'll glitch a building into that. You could actually uh, like put the floor all higher with your terrain manipulator. Put all your room parts and pieces uh, down first and then build the structure around it and then all your pieces all, all your uh, parts will be in there uh, it's just that you can't put a door on them which is just really shocking you can't put a door unless it's on unless the walls inside your base boundaries and I don't know how we're going to work around that. Uh, we've got a lot of clever minds at Amino Hub, and I hope we're going to be able to figure that out. Because I'm wondering, and I know if you go and get another base, the parts that are outside the limits show still when you come back, but I'm wondering if you had that in a wall inside your base limits and you put a door on it if the door would disappear because it's in your base limits and if it would then it would be in, in, uh, in a accessible again uh, definitely let me know what you think about this glitch guys and let me know if you're going to test it out with me and help us figure out what we can and can't do with it also I want uh, I want some help off at least one person or a couple of people to make some things outside the base limit and see if other people can come and see them uh, when they come to visit your base and if they can also can they see them when that player's claimed another base somewhere else because it'd be so cool if they stayed there forever uh, it would be good 
thanks for watching guys and uh, I'm just going to place a few more parts outside here just to give you a good look at what else you can do without these outside these base limits uh, thanks for watching as always uh, and I'll catch you on another episode soon thanks guys